Welcome back, and now we're going to see Boss Rutan in action against Osami Shibuya. Uh, Boss Rutan looking like the machine, unbeatable recently. Yeah, and Shibuya being a uh, not quite at the level of Boss Rutan, not even uh, coming up into the contenders ranks to fight for the King of Pankers title at this point in his career, got to be feeling a little in over his head. All right, let's see if Boss Rutan can keep that undefeated streak in track. Boss Rutan versus Osami Shibuya. Shibuya has to be wary of the initial reaction, initial rush from Boss Rutan, an explosive striker and loving to uh, get off to a quick start and knock his opponents out within the first minute. And we saw what he did to Funaki not too long ago. As both fighters circling around each other a little bit. Boss stalking Shibuya down, looking to throw the big strike, big middle kick there. by Boss. Does not connect though. Luckily for Shibuya. <laughs> Very lucky. And Shibuya tries to return the favor, but he also misses. Southpaw is Shibuya. Look to throw many left side attacks against the orthodox fighter, Rutan, who should look to throw many right attacks, just like that right middle kick. Into the front choke and, is Rutan against Shibuya. Like Rutan might have the guillotine on Shibuya now. Nice Not power anymore. on Shibuya's part to lift Rutan up out of that, but Rutan yeah. lets go and lands the knee, and they are separated. That knee to the body puts Shibuya on the mat as we both fighters now on their feet. Rutan uh, looking like he's on the prowl against Shibuya, backing him into that corner. Got to watch out for the big right palm strike from Boss Rutan. Front kick by Shibuya. Left middle kick by Shibuya. And uh, Shibuya's game plan, I don't know if exchanging kicks with Rutan is what you want to do. And no, right but now, taking single oh, legs that's... like that is a great idea. Well, got to watch out for that front choke. Boss is so strong, he might pull your head clean off your shoulders. And how does Shibuya get out of that choke as we just, he just got out of it? Well, he passed to the side and was able to clear his head. And uh, Shibuya gaining in strength and uh, ability on the mat throughout the, his contest in Pancras uh, would go on to become one of the better grapplers within the Pancras system. Now Boss Rutan on the mat, Shibuya going for the knees of Rutan. Yeah, nice backspin into the knee bar entry by Shibuya. Rutan uh, wisely sitting up, looking to cross face Shibuya to uh, clear him away from his ankle is Rutan. And uh, Rutan, of course, a much improved fighter when he first came into Pancras. Didn't have much of a ground game, was more of a striker, but now very comfortable down on the mat. Yeah, at this point, you got to call Rutan an all-around fighter. As we see Shibuya on the bottom, and what does Shibuya have to do to get out of this position? Well, one, he's got to watch out for that choke from Rutan there, dropping uh, the form across the throat, transitioning to try and uh, catch the neck as Shibuya turned his shoulder, and Rutan keeping the pressure, squeezing the neck of Shibuya and making things altogether uncomfortable. Now Rutan has the mount on Shibuya. Working the arms is Rutan, looking for an opportunity to go for the arm lock, sliding off the knee on belly. All the way through to the headlock is Rutan locking up the leg of Shibuya. And Shibuya, I'm not sure if Shibuya can breathe in there, Josh. Not, it's looking very tight for Shibuya. A very dangerous crank here. Trying to shove Boss Rutan off of us, both unsuccessful. And Shibuya taps out in the first round, 315. Uh, Boss Rutan actually calls that the Rutan crank, but break that down in layman's terms, Josh. Well, the Rutan clutch is simply a headlock position. He locks onto his thigh with his right hand there. And then what he's going to do is he's going to reach back, hook that leg in a cradle type motion, and hook in the inside of, of Boss's own left leg. Now that he's got them together, he brings his knees together, he brings his arms together, and essentially folds Shibuya up like a uh, potato sack. And there ain't no way to breathe in there like that. And, it, and if Shibuya does not tap, tap out, he might have passed out. All right, and the ma next match we're going to see it's Minoru Suzuki versus Kei Chiro Yamamiya. And on paper, Josh, it looks like Suzuki should win this fight hands down. Yes, it does. But Suzuki, uh, at this point, has been having quite the slump and, and a very difficult time of it in the ring. And uh, maybe this will be the match that will allow Suzuki to get back on track and, and show the uh, black hall as we, as we knew him. All right, let's see how Suzuki fares. 
Minoru Suzuki versus Keichiro Yamamiya. As this fight starts out, both fighters are uh, feeling each other out a little bit. Nice so right in, showcase right. from Suzuki. Both southpaws here. And Suzuki sticking his face out, telling Yamamiya to just hit me. Go ahead, daring him to throw a strike. And right there, he throws a strike to Yamamiya. Middle kick by Yamamiya against Suzuki. Suzuki moving forward. Inside low kick by and Yamamiya throwing some knees and now palm strikes. Hey, it looks like Suzuki's getting his wish. And Yamamiya not backing down one bit against Suzuki and looking to carve a name for himself. Uh, certainly in the back of Suzuki here. Middle kick. And Yamamiya, nice one leg, single leg takedown. Here, Jeff. Ending up in the guard against uh, Suzuki. Let's see what uh, Yamamiya has in store against the master on the ground. Uh, but on the ground, as we said, Suzuki has a huge advantage. Yamamiya, not much of a submission specialist. Yeah, one of the slickest uh, grapplers and uh, an incredible catch wrestler is Suzuki. Yamamiya in the full guard position. And there's not enough action, so the ref breaks the fighters up. They'll restart at the center of the ring. Suzuki taking notice to Yamamiya, not taking his eye off of him and staying, getting right in Yamamiya's face. And so far, Yamamiya holding up his own, Josh. Yeah, Suzuki may be a little uh, put off by the fact that this uh, young boy in his eyes is standing up to him. Yamamiya not afraid, coming in, throws a high right kick right there. Right hook slap. An uppercut by uh, Suzuki, returned by a shote from Yamamiya that lands its way home. And if you're Minoru Suzuki, you want to take this fight to the ground, don't you, Josh? And I think he's getting a little too caught up in, in the uh, exchange, probably because he's getting a little hot-headed at, uh, at this juncture with uh, Yamamiya. Still on the feet later on in the fight. As they move ahead, it, it looks like Suzuki hurt his leg on that yeah. kick as he went down. It looked like Suzuki caught uh, his, his foot caught Yamamiya in a, in a strange way and, and, and tweaked his knee like a heel hook. And Suzuki is back up on his feet. He does lose a point, however, but uh, he has five points, so he has four more to go. As you see, his left leg is bandaged up there. It looks like he may have torn, he could have possibly torn ligaments in his leg with that kick. And uh, they just want to make sure Suzuki's in good enough shape to continue. And you know Suzuki, he's going to go th come through. Right, he doesn't want to quit. Certainly not against uh, Yamamiya, uh, the younger fighter. And, and not against anybody, for that matter. As we move along in the fight, the fighter's in the clinch. Last 10 seconds. And Yamamiya throwing left and right palm strikes, connecting on some of them. Another left palm strike and knees to the face of Suzuki. Suzuki looking worse for wear here, and very immobile. And this fight will go to the judges. Mama Mia, Yama Mia pulls off the upset, Josh. Ah, oh, that's a good piece. And Minoru Suzuki, a, another disappointing loss, but as we said, uh, his career started out great, but towards the latter half, just not the same in Oru Suzuki. No, and I really attribute that to all the wear and tear incurred from, from all the pro wrestling done previously to this. Uh, you know, this is not Suzuki's uh, first first career here. This is his third career where you got a guy like like Yamamiya, young guy, uh, coming up through the ranks of Pancras, training under the likes of guys like Suzuki and Funaki. Minoru Suzuki definitely not at 100%. And later in the press conference, we saw Yamamiya cry uh, talking about his victory. So it just goes to show you how heralded uh, Minoru Suzuki is in the Pancras world. Yeah, it's a very serious endeavor for a lot of these guys to fight people like Funaki or Suzuki or Shamrock because a lot of them grew up not only being inspired to join Pancras by watching the fights uh, of these uh, great athletes, but some of them are, are actually being trained by them in the Pancras dojos. And so it's like going up against their heroes in the ring. Yeah. All right, we're now we're going to see Masakatsu Funaki fight right after the break.